Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn with another awesome story for us. Our story today is Little Red Riding Hood. The author is Candace Ramson, and the illustrator is Tammy Lyon. This is Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother and their cat. Grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood loved each other so much, one day grandmother decided to make her a red cape. Little Red Riding Hood loved her cape with the hood. She smiled and danced in it. She wore it everywhere she went. She wore it to the store. She wore it into town. She wore it to school. Guess what? She even slept in her little red cape. She loved it so much. One day her mother told her, Grandmother isn't feeling very well today. Take this basket of fruit to her and make sure she's okay. Don't talk to any strangers on the way. So Little Red Riding Hood started walking through the woods, but then she noticed a fox standing nearby watching. Little Red Riding Hood knew she was not supposed to talk to strangers, but she thought, he looks friendly. Hello there, she said. The fox said, hello, little girl, where are you going? I'm going to visit my grandmother. She lives in that house down the road. Oh, that's a very nice thing to do. Why don't you stop and pick some flowers for your grandmother? That would make her very happy. The wolf was not being honest. He was trying to trick her. That's a great idea, said Little Red Riding Hood. She stopped to pick flowers, but the wolf rushed to Grandmother's house. He tiptoed inside and went over to Grandmother's bed. When she woke up and saw the wolf, she screamed, Help! Help! The wolf grabbed Grandmother and pushed her and her cat into the closet. Then he put on her clothes and pretended that he was Grandmother. He was waiting for Little Red Riding Hood to eat her up. When she got there and knocked on the door, Come in, said the wolf. She tried to make her voice sound like Grandmother. But the wolf was looking very strange to Little Red Riding Hood. And she said, Grandmother, what big hands you have. Oh, the better to hug you, my dear. But grandmother, what big eyes you have. Oh, the better to see you, my dear. But grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you, my dear. And the wolf jumped out of the bed and jumped toward Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> but the wolf fell out of the window and tumbled down onto the ground. They never saw him again. Then Little Red Riding Hood heard someone knocking. It was Grandmother in the closet. <gasps> Little Red Riding Hood opened the door and let Grandma and Kitty out. They were so happy. Grandmother told Little Red Riding Hood, never talk to strangers again. And Little Red Riding Hood promised she would never talk to strangers again. That's the end of our story, book buddies. I hope you enjoyed it today. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside until it's safe to go out. See you next time.